Hey, it's Chris Caddo from Putney Breeze Business Advisors, and we're here to help you create your competitive advantage with some custom business databases, business apps, and especially mobile apps. Now in this video, which is part of the series, which teaches you how to create a mobile app in a few hours, and we're using a travel app example, in this, exa in this example, or in this video, what we're gonna do is just take you through how you could add navigational buttons and format navigational buttons so that there's a little bit of interaction involved and so on. So let's step into that. Now, from our last video, we were creating lists and we created a list layer. Uh, and we created a list layer for my travel tips. Now, if this is, we're in the edit mode. So we clicked into uh, edit layer. We're in the edit mode of a list view. Now, we're not gonna need this trip start date. We'll delete that for now. So what should we add here? And how do we add it? Well, we go to this objects toolbar that you see at the top here, and we find this button here, which is basically the button or popover tool. And that allows you to create buttons and um, popovers. And we'll show you what that is in a minute. But um, you select the one that you want, then, which is, we're gonna do buttons for now. Click on the button, and then it brings up this crosswire, and you can choose where you want the button. So what buttons do we want in this example here? So potentially we want a button, oops, this helped us create two there. Escape out of that. <clears throat> now, potentially we want a button to create new records. So just double click on the button and it brings up the button setup. Now, one thing you can do here is you can actually, you can give it a name, but we're not gonna give it a name for the purposes of our look and feel that we want. We just want it to have an icon. And we're gonna choose, I've just highlighted this display only an icon. Uh, selection and we're going to choose the big plus where is the big plus can see it can see it can see it it's probably right in front of my eyes and that one there will do that big plus there and maybe we want it to be that's 24 no, let's make it bigger 36 let's do that and for the moment actually now what we will do is we'll add a script to that we'll add a single step and we'll just add create record Oops, new record, it's called. New record request, and we'll just save that. And that will, every time we press that button, it will literally create a new record for us. Let's step out of that for the moment. But there is a few things we might wanna do while we're here. Uh, we wanna think about the color scheme. So let's go into the color palette of the inspector. Now, where do we find the inspector if it's not open? It's this little icon here, show or hide inspector. Click on that if you don't already have it open. Go to your color palette. And then on the top of your color palette, you have a few options right at the very top. And they're, to, they're in effect set what you are going to change in terms of the color palette or the look and feel of it. So what we're gonna do is perhaps we can leave the button as gray, but maybe we wanna change the icon color. And we're going to change the icon color to our color scheme so that you know, we've got that consistent look and feel about what we're doing here. So let's do that. But the other things that you can do here in terms of setting out your inspectors, you can change the color when you hover. So potentially when we hover, what we can do is we can change the icon color when we hover to white. And we can perhaps, when we hover, change the button when we hover to solid color and we can change the button to our custom color so when we're hovering over it let's say we're using a desktop it will change the color so it will highlight the fact that you're actually hovering over the button anyhow let's just do that for now uh, just to give it a little bit of an, an example but so if I exit the layout and I haven't set I've set the anchors there so that looks a bit odd doesn't it so let's go to the anchors and that's in here and I'm not gonna anchor it at all. I'm just gonna set it to the top. See that there? So now when I hover over it, notice how it's changed colors? That's because of the settings that we've set in the color palette. And if I press that button, we've created a new record. Exit layout. So what else do we want here? Perhaps we want a home button. So I'm just gonna copy paste that. Control C, Control V, just like you would in any other Windows machine. I'm gonna double click on, on the button and I'm gonna choose home, where's home, home. Okay, great. And I'm gonna do a single step here in terms of a button, but I'm gonna perform, I'm not gonna perform a script, it is gonna be a single step. 
but I'm not gonna, it's not gonna be a new record request, it's gonna be a go to layout. So I'm gonna say go to layout, and I'm gonna choose the layout, and I'm gonna choose the layout my travel apps, which is the home. We can actually set animations you can see here so that if you're on a mobile device, you can it slops it, it can do a, all these things here, flip to the right, flip to the left, and so on. So let's just do a flip to the left. How about that, eh? Okay. And um, and that will be done there. So now we've got the home button, and we've also got the create new record button. Now, what other buttons would we like? Let's have a think about that. Perhaps we want control V. I'm going to put a button here, and I'm going to make it a button for deleting. How about we delete records? So again, I'm going to double click on the icon. I'm going to turn it into a what am I going to turn it into? I'm going to turn it into a trash can. Can we find a trash can here somewhere? There it is. I'll do. And I'm going to perform a single step. And my single step is going to be not that. But it's going to be delete, not account, not all records, delete record. How about that? Record. Done. Dialog on? No, don't dial. Actually, Let's have that on. What that means is that it will come up and, and ask you to confirm that you want to delete a record. Have a little dialog box I'll show you in a second. Maybe because we've got it, maybe we want it in a different styling because we've actually got it on the record itself. So perhaps what we'll do is we'll go back to the button and we'll change the icon to when it's normal. Let's change the icon to white. Oops, let's get out of that. Change the icon to white, and let's actually change the button color when it's normal to solid fill to custom color. Let's do that instead. And then when we hover, let's do the opposite. So let's choose on the hover, the button will go to white. Oops, get out of that again. Button will go to white, which is just here. And when we hover on the icon, hover on the icon. Let's make the button go to custom color. Let's do the opposite. Why don't we do that? Righto. So we've done that now. Exit our layout. So we can see now we've got a we've got a delete button. So if we're not happy with something, we'll just delete it. And remember we set the dialogue to say to ask us, the dialogue was on. So that, what that means is that it will ask us to confirm that we do want to delete, and we can just keep deleting records. So now we've got those three buttons. What other buttons would we like? Actually, I think that button's a bit too fat. I'm going to change that button a little bit. I'm going to go in here into my points and make it maybe 30 by 30. Let's see what 30 by 30 looks like. Ah, oh, it's probably a bit small. Let's make it 45 by 45. And oh, that's okay. Let's do that then. You know what, I actually like the width being a bit wider. Let's just make it that for now. All right, now, what else do we need? Potentially in the future, actually, I think we need this to be a bit smaller, to be honest. You can just play around with this yourself. Um, okay, that will do for now. And man, what else do we need? We probably need a button later on. I'm just trying to fit two buttons on. That's why I'm trying to make it smaller. Um, we probably need a button for our budgets we're going to do budgets later on what are we going to do later on so let's come to double click that i'm not going to sign anything for now i'm just going to do nothing for now but we're going to have a budget later on aren't we so we're going to see where we're at for each day so let's make that a shopping cart let's make that a shopping cart okay it's a bit small for the shopping cart isn't it i might have to make that 30 so you can see the shopping cart then um what else are we going to have let's we're going to do a trip report aren't we so let's also do a trip report. Uh, we're going to do a trip report. Let's make that a pen. And we're not going to sign a step for now as well. And we're also going to, once we've actually created the record, we're actually going to create the itinerary from the record. So this is created the trip. And once we've created the trip, we we'll say, okay, we're going to go to Brazil or wherever it is we're going to go. Then we're going to say, well, let's create the itinerary. So we need a button to create the itinerary. So let's have a button to create the itinerary. And let's make that picture look like this. How about that? Okay, 
Now, we haven't assigned a step yet because guess what? When we create the itinerary, it's going to have to be a loop script. So we'll have a specific video for creating loop script. But now what we've done, though, is we've created the buttons, and this is how it'll look. So we can actually go navigate to home from our My Trips. We can create new trips. We can delete an old trip. We can create an itinerary. We can see reports, and we can also see how we're traveling against our budget. Uh, we'll set the scripts later on to all that. What I've shown you is how you edit buttons so that you've got some interaction. And you can see when we hover over, it might change colors. The others don't change because I haven't actually assigned. That means that I actually haven't assigned the script yet. But for the uh, buttons that I have assigned a script, you can see that there's a, a, a small interaction there. So that's the basics of setting up buttons and navigation and editing buttons to suit your needs. Comment. Make sure you subscribe so you can get the whole series, learn how to create an app, or like the video if you do like, but ask me any questions if you have, and I look forward to answering them. And um, let's get on to the next video where we'll create a loop script. How about that? See you then.